In this video, we're going to look at how to set up and use a Brower Timing Gate system. Here you can see one small system in which there is a timer, two tripods and one pair of gates in which one has got an antennae and one without and that's because one's a receiver and one's a sender. There will be mul multiple gates within one system in which here in the Human Performance Lab we have two full systems. Here you'll see that I'm going to extend the legs of the tripods. If you need to put them back in again, please don't force it, just rotate and then push the leg back in. Okay, you'll also notice as I extend the legs that I group them together just to check the length of the legs and that's just to ensure that it's not going to be a wonky tripod. Um, I'm going to ensure that the top is nice and level before placing the gate on, but you can still adjust that afterwards. So you'll see here that I'm going to hold one of the gates on top with one hand and with the other I'm going to turn the dial uh, lefty loosey righty tighty as normal. Once all of the tripods and units are ready, that's when I'd start to position them. Uh, you'll notice on the video that I've actually measured both sides of the track um, just to ensure that both units on either side are at the correct distance. Um, as I'm positioning them, you'll notice that I will check the height of the gates to make sure that they're level with each other and also approximately hip height to the athlete. You'll notice the first pair that I put down at zero metres are a bit high, but I will change that later. Here I'm going to position at 0, 5, 10 and 20 metres just because that's something commonly that we'll use in the lab. Um, you'll notice that I'm going to ensure each of the units are level and aligned on a rigid tripod. Um, I'll also check each of the units as I position them. Um, for here you can see that I, I've actually positioned it so that the tripod legs that none of them stick into the track just as I said um, to make sure that it's not a trip hazard. And this is the final pair. Once that they're positioned uh, and I'm happy that they're level, they're rigid and that they're aligned correctly, I'll then switch on each of the units. Okay, so you see a final check there just to check the height. Again, I will change the height of the zero meter ones. You'll notice now that I'm going up to each individual unit and I'm pressing and holding on the only button that's on the back until they come on. I then swipe my hand through just to ensure that they're working okay. Uh, you'll hear a very loud audible beep. If it's a continuous beep, there's something wrong and it's either that they're not aligned, so double check that. Uh, alternatively, the batteries have gone, so that's something that can be changed. And you'll notice here that I wasn't happy with the first pair of gates at zero metres, so I've just changed the height of them um, just to achieve the desired height. Whilst in this video I've chosen to set up four pairs of timing gates, there are many different configurations which you could do. You could use just one pair and you could do tests such as an agility t-test, 505 or the modified 505, or using two pairs, you could just simply do a five meter sprint test. Just as a quick recap, you can see that we've measured both the sides to ensure that both units are placed at the correct distances, uh, that there's a pair of gates at each distance, then that one has an antennae and one doesn't that all units are aligned at the correct height on a fixed rigid tripod and that all units are switched on and working OK. Uh, once you've done this, you're then ready to start testing. Uh, with the timer, you'll see that there's an on off button uh, and once you've done that, you're ready to go. Other things to consider when collecting data are to ensure a standardised start and distance behind the first gate, standardised start and stance, to avoid any initial counter movement and that is a maximal effort run down the centre of the tra track and not to decelerate until after the final gate. If unsure, please seek guidance from your module leader. Here we're going to collect a trial. You can see I'm not a natural athlete and we're going to slow that down in a second and have a look. You can see that I've started at the standardised uh, distance behind the start line and as I pass through the start, which is zero metres, the timer triggers. Once I then pass through the next pair of gates, which is five metres, our first time will appear. OK, then you'll see it automatically provides us with the next 10 metre time. Uh, as I pass through the 10 metre gates, this will also happen at the 20 metre gates. 
You can go back in and recall the information afterwards, but we find it easiest to write it down or type it into Excel as it occurs live. This will speed up your data collection. Once you've made sure you've got the results down, press and hold the clear buttons and you're ready to go again.